This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad in it, are you? I hope you are. If you haven't been glad all day, whether, I don't know whether it's the evening for you, afternoon or the morning, I just want you to join me in being glad in the day that the Lord has made. I am so grateful that I woke up this morning. I thank the Lord for another day, ask him to come into my vessel and do his will. I'm delighted to be here with you. Today I have behind me another background of a image that I screenshot from Google Images. Yes, I'm seeking and looking for, you know, nice apartment um, ideas, right? Apartment slash condos, condos. And I thought this was really pretty. You know, the fireplace is built in. Fireplaces are very built in. Well, they are always built in, but these are the, the ones that you just switch. You know, you don't have to put wood in there and have all the smoke in your house. Yeah, it's clean and neat. So yeah, I'm prophesying my future. I am going to have many condos in every single city, not many, just one condo per city. And because someday I will be out there speaking to tens and thousands of people. So hundreds and thousands of people. Yeah, I'm prophesying. I'm doing what I'm learning with you from old Joel Olstein. Good old Joel. Speaking of him, let's go ahead and get started. Today's title is Like a Magnet. What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and no, and what no human mind has conceived. The things God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2.9 When I was in my early 20s, I walked into a jewelry store and met Victoria for the first time. We went out on our first date and had so much fun. The next week, she invited me to dinner, and we had a great time. That was followed by repeated calls from me to her, but she was always either too busy or not available. Finally, I assumed she didn't want to see me, and I stopped calling. About two weeks later, she saw me in a small diner and said, Joel, I'm so sorry. I keep missing your calls. God's dream for our lives is so much bigger than our own. When you honor God, you won't have to go after it. It will come to you like a magnet. You'll draw it in. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the scripture in 1 Corinthians 2.9. And thank you, Joel, for this awesome devotional. Yes, we are like a magnet. All we have to do is honor God love him, and he will draw everything to us. So praise be to God. All right, now for the Holy Bible. Today I'm going to be reading Psalms 119-104. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, we get understanding from our God. And anything else is fault with witness. And I don't care for it, don't like it, and don't receive it. Okay, let's get into, uh, not Joel, I was going to say Joel again. David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. David came to Saul and stood before him. Saul liked him and immediately made him his right-hand man. Saul sent word back to Jesse, thank you, David will stay here. After that, whenever the bad depression from God tormented Saul, David got out his harp and played. That would calm Saul down. That's from 1 Samuel 16, 21 through 23. David learned about praise as a young shepherd boy, playing before the dress king. King Saul suffered from bad depression because his defiance of God had caused God to withdraw his spirit from him. Even though Saul rejected God and refused to follow him, 
God reached out to Saul through David. God showed David that praise lifted Saul's depression. In all of life's issue, God constantly comes through when we trust him. Amen. The prayer here today is, Lord, thank you for showing me that praising you and focusing on you is the bright pathway to our entire journey through life, from childhood to old age. In these verses, I see that my focus on you can even benefit those who have rejected you. Just as David's love for you calmed King Saul and brought him peace. Please help me to be a significant signpost for those around me, pointing to your glory. Amen and amen. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Glory be to God. I just love this passage. You know, wow, for Saul to be defiant to God and still God still blessed him through David to calm his spirit. That is so powerful. Wow, let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you that, you know, when we are defiant to you, you still love us. And you will still send people to us to calm us, to love us, to nurture us, to help us through. Lord, I ask that you would continue to do your work in us. Father, we are so far from perfect, but we want to be molded, shaped, and fashioned by you. We want to honor you with our lives. We want to listen. We want to be your servants and to do your will here on this earth. And Father, as we continue to draw on you and glorify you, Lord, the, the promise that we have, Lord, from you is just so awesome. You have so many great things in store for us that we don't even know about. So, Lord, we want to honor you, praise you, and be a magnet, Lord, to all the greatness that you have for us, that you have in store for us, that's waiting for us. So, Father, we praise you. We glorify you. We honor you. We offer our lives to you, Lord, our vessels for you to pour in and through us. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us and being in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, it has been a delight to be here with you. May the rest of your day or evening be smooth sailing and always be focused on God. Until tomorrow. Bye.